So I want to show you where you may have actually seen um, stress concentration in your everyday life. Uh, stress concentration. And <clears throat> that is when you open up a packet, a food packet. Um, say, for example, um, perhaps a pack of chips. Okay, there's a beautiful sketch of a pack of chips. And, you know, you can open it. Well, you know that you open it by stretching out at one of these little sharp notches, right? These little sharp, sharp notches there. <clears throat> um, and that's easy, the easiest way to open up the pack. Um, I'll remind you the equation that we derived in the previous video for the stress concentration factor. That is the concentration factor at the tip of the crack, which we defined as the maximum stress over the applied stress. That's supposed to be a zero. Sigma naught. Okay, we said it was roughly equal to two times square root of a over rho, where rho is the radius of curvature of the crack tip. That is how sharp the crack is. Okay, <clears throat> that's the um, if you will, that's the sharpness. And a was the length. So you actually you kind of have some intuitive sense for for this equation here. Uh, every time you open up a little pack of uh, of food, um, now a pack of chips. Sometimes you'll you'll find this. It, what happens is it plastically deforms there. Um, it's probably more dramatic if I show you a pack of, uh, let's see, a pack of ketchup. All right, so I got a beautiful sketch here, <clears throat> a friend of mine did, for a pack of, uh, of ketchup. And, you know, you're going to try to get it to open there, and you've got a, a little crack that you try to propagate from one of those sharp internal cracks there. Okay, but you're having a bad day, and what happens this you get plastic deformation plastic deformation permanent deformation it stretches if you will so what happens when that when <clears throat> when it stretches well plastic deformation remember our stress concentration factor is roughly one <clears throat> um, is roughly a over rho to the one half or twice that so if we increase the radius of curvature we decrease our stress concentration factor. That is, the stress experience at the tip, tip of the crack is diminished. And so, it's very difficult. We have to pull really, really hard to stretch that pack of ketchup. Um, of course, sometimes what you know happens is uh, something like this, right? <laughs> so what's that? Well, that's, that's a bad day, right? It plastically deformed, you pulled, you had to, you required such a high stress in order to propagate the crack because there was a low stress concentration factor. And, and so it was difficult. You had to stretch really, really high. The stress went way up. And finally, when it did break, all that ketchup squirts out. So stress concentration, we see it every day. There's just a little kind of fun example. But in, indeed, that is definitely stress concentration factor. So see, you see it all, all around you. Um, I hope that helps you to gain some intuitive sense for this equation that we developed for the stress concentration factor.